This is the True Man Podcast, and on this episode of Christmas Moments, I'll tell you a story inspired by the Christmas carol, O Jesus Christ, Thy Manger Is. This story is found in the book Music from the Manger, available at www.trueman.org forward slash books. And after that, we'll listen to an arrangement of O Jesus Christ, Thy Manger Is, composed and performed by Richard Souther. Merry Christmas. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew 1, 22-23 Christmas time to me is the weeks between Thanksgiving in the U.S. and Epiphany, January 6th. As you already know, music is a huge part of how I celebrate the season. When I was younger, I had a double LP Christmas album called Home for Christmas, and I played it over and over during those weeks on my parents' hi-fi stereo. In the 1980s, with the introduction of the compact disc player, I had two standard CDs I played throughout those weeks. The first, Mannheim Steamroller Christmas, and Carols from King's College in Cambridge. Music is a big part of a lot of people's Christmas traditions and celebrations, but my friend Ken takes it to another level. He writes new arrangements or original compositions of Christmas songs to send his Christmas cards. In 1996, he found himself running late on sending out his Christmas card composition, so instead of writing original poetry, he turned to our church body's hymnals for some inspiration. In the Lutheran hymnal of 1941 was a hymn that caught his eye. It was, O Jesus Christ, Thy Manger Is, written by Paul Gerhardt, a Lutheran minister and hymn writer during the early 17th century. And now Ken takes over this part of the story. Hans took up TLH and read Paul Gerhardt's marvelous text. So many Christmas lyrics are narrative of a sort, and new choir music tells you everything you don't need to know about how the shepherds felt, what were the camels thinking, and like that. Gerhardt gets to the heart of the matter in his characteristic orthodox but personal way. Jesus, in his manger, opens paradise for me, and by extension, you. Ken also felt that the original tune by Johann Kruger didn't quite match the style of the story Gerhardt related. So he penned a new composition and used both, the lyrics being in the public domain, as his Christmas card that year. Now Gerhardt relates the well-known Christmas story from Luke 2 and added in elements from John 1, but also emphasizes that in this manger is the savior of the world. And because of that, the manger is holding the entrance into paradise. Here's a couple lines from the hymn. O Jesus Christ, thy manger is, my paradise at which my soul reclineth. For there, O Lord, doth lie the word, made flesh for us, herein thy grace forth shineth. He whom the sea and wind obey doth come to serve the sinner in great meekness. Thou, God's own Son, with us art one, dost join us and our children in our weakness. Remember thou what glory now, the Lord prepared thee for all earthly sadness. The angel hosts can never boast of greater glory, greater bliss, or gladness. The world may hold her wreath in gold, but thou, my heart, keep Christ as thy true treasure. To him hold fast, until at last, a crown be thine, an honor in full measure. I have to admit that I never heard this hymn before. It's been in the hymnals of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod for nearly 100 years, but I've never sung it. At Christmas time, we sing the same hymns and carols each year, and we should. There's nothing wrong with that. But if we only sing the same songs each year, we could miss a true gem of a song that's been hiding in plain sight, and that's what this hymn is for me. So I decided that this Christmas Eve, 2018, I would use this hymn as the hymn to introduce my sermon. It was about September of 2018 that I asked another friend of mine to listen to the tune Ken wrote. I asked Richard if he wouldn't mind giving it a try at putting his own style on this simple but lovely tune of Ken's. I had in mind that I could include it in the podcast series of Christmas music. Now I started doing a podcast of Christmas music using Richard's music a couple of years ago. So at first he said, well, he'd try, but life was very busy for him and most likely he would not be able to get to it. But a Saturday in October, my phone chimed that I had received a new email. It was from Richard. He had found a few moments to put something together. 
So I smiled. I looked up from my phone and out the window, and wouldn't you know it, it was snowing. Big, fat flakes of white snow blowing past as I downloaded the song Richard had sent me. And as I listened, I was flooded with emotions. Ken's tune is beautiful, and it fits Gerhardt's text perfectly, and Richard's arrangement is hauntingly magnificent. All three musicians, Gerhardt, Ken, and Richard, have caught the profound mystery of the Nativity of Christ. The manger of Jesus Christ holds paradise for my soul, because my soul, my very being, finds in Christ the truest and dearest treasure. No matter where I am, even at Christmas, I will find joy, because the Son of God loves me so much that He became a human being. He did this to save me from sin, death, and the power of the devil. There is so much wealth to be found in this world, power, gold, glory, but for me, and I pray for you, Christ is my truest treasure. To him I'll hold fast in faith until that day I see him face to face in paradise. And I thank Ken and Richard for blessing me with such a beautiful Christmas hymn that will be a part of my keeping Christmas from here on out. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for loving me so much that you sent your own child, in mercy mild, to join me to you. Help me to remember the glory of the first Christmas, and may I keep it forever, wherever I am. In Jesus' name, amen. O Jesus Christ, Thy Manger Is, composed and performed by Richard Souther and Ken Koshy. You can download this song and other music from Richard at www.richardsouther.com. The story comes from Music from the Manger, available at Amazon, as well as the True Men Ministries website, and you can get it in paperback or download it for your Kindle device. Thanks for listening, and I pray you have a very blessed and Merry Christmas.